but if you want a more formal and more technical term, then compound interest it is. Yo, so what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then let me introduce myself first. I am Gabriel Manuel and I make videos about personal growth, finance, and aesthetics. I also upload university vlogs and interviews with people from all walks of life. Interesting? Then like my videos, click that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for you to stay updated. Alright, let's begin. Our shoutout for this week goes to Direct Jeco Bagillion. He said pa shout out next vlog lods. Yo Kuya DJ, thank you so much for supporting my channel. So in today's video, we're going to talk about George Clason's book, The Richest Man on Babylon. So if matagal ka na sa channel ko, then maybe napanood mo na yung video ko wherein I said na I'm going to read one book per month. If wala pa, then you can find it somewhere here or here. Basta ito yung, ito yung thumbnail niya, okay? <laughs> Wait, bakit magta-thumbnail pa? Pwedeng direct video lang naman ah. Insert na tayo sa video. And box offer. I also want to invest time reading books because I really not a book person. Well, I do buy books but not because I want to read them but because I love the aesthetic of having them inside my room. <laughs> Maybe one book per month is a good start. So I've read Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad last January which is actually my financial awakening book. Then, The Richest Man in Babylon noong February. Yes, I know, April na tayo ngayon mga mam sir. Sorry naman no, medyo busy lang yung sked natin. We have ACADs and other trivial stuff na kailangan natin gawin kasi wala tayong choice but to do it. So, yeah. Anyway, ayun nga. I'm going to talk about my six takeaways sa book na yun. But before we start, disclaimer lang. I'm not a financial nor a personal growth advisor, so please don't take my videos as professional advice. All of these are just based on my experiences and my own researches lang. So I highly recommend parent to do your own research before diving into something completely new to you. Deal? Okay, let's begin. Number one, start to fatten your purse. Ito yun eh, like, ito talaga yung major key ng story. Like, ito yung point ng point ng point ng story. Classon, the author, really emphasized the concept of paying yourself first. He said that you need to allocate at least 10% of your income as your bayad sa sarili mo. Gab, what if marami kaming utang na dapat bayaran? Well, the book suggests that you still need to pay yourself first. Eh, Gab, marami nga kaming utang eh. Then, cut off some of your expenses para ma-allocate mo siya sa 10% na yun. If isa sa mga utang na binabayaran mo ay yung Jordan shoes na hulugan monthly, then you can cut off that thing muna. Parang ganon, you know? Eh, Gab, gusto ko yun eh. They said na luho yun, but... Gusto ko talaga yun. Well then, this channel is not for you, mate. You know, we really need to train ourselves talaga eh. Which leads to number two. Control your expenses by not spending more than you need. Okay, let's say sasali ka sa Olympics tapos wala ka talagang any shoes to wear for the, your event. Then, go! You can continue your hulugan na Jordan. Pero if tambay ka lang sa bahay and marami na sapatos ang naimbak mo lang sa baol mo and hindi mo man lang sila nililinis, you know, yung mga collection mo ay wala namang maintenance the point na nasisira lang sila. Well, dude, I guess hindi mo kailangan ng panibagong Jordan, you know? Yun, that's the concept ng takeaway na ito. Well, it's not limited to shoes lang, ah. Another great example is like, you have a personal motorcycle. Motor, motor ni Jolo, motor ni Jolo. <laughs> Tapos, after some time, you get promoted. Wow, congrats! Finally, tapos nag-compute ka sa bagong salary grade mo and you find out na afford mo naman pala kumuha ng 5 year to pay na kotse. So, kumuha ka. So, the question is, afford mo ba? Well, sort of. But, kailangan mo ba? 
I don't think so. You can at least save that money sa high interest savings bank or sa stock market for it to grow. Then sa kamo nilang kunan kapag need mo na talaga yung car. Let's say you are promoted and you are assigned to an area na medyo malayo sa tinitirahan mo and it happened na having your own car is way, way, way better than commuting, then that's the time na kukuha ka na ng kotse. Gets? 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 Okay, let's proceed to number three. Make your gold multiply. The story keep on telling that you must get your wealth work for you. Ito yung sabi ko sa number two. You put your money in high interest savings banks or sa stock market or into other investments for it to grow. By doing that kasi, manganganak yung pera mo. Tapos yung anak niya ay manganganak ulit at manganganak ulit. That's pretty much how it goes, you know? I mean, yun yung logic niya. <laughs> But if you want a more formal and more technical term, then compound interest it is. Well, iba siya sa simple interest, iba siya sa fixed interest, iba siya sa variable interest. And, and yes, a part of me really loves to use formal terms. But when I do that, kasi I'm not helping those people na kailangan talaga ng financial education. And I don't want that. What I want is like, lahat ng taong makakanood ng video ko, I capable enough to learn from it, to benefit from it, hindi lang yung certain individuals lang, certain group of people lang. So, yun nga, medyo nagiging off topic na tayo, balik na tayo sa takeaways natin. Let's go to number four. Guard your treasure from loss. So, should we put our money in safe vaults? No! What it means is that kailangan mong ilagay yung pera mo sa safe na investments. Come on, dude. You know, there are lots of investment schemes that are so good to be true. There are a lot of investments na ang taas talaga ng sinasabi nilang interest, ng return of investment sa type of investment na yun. Like double your money after 15 days or 3% daily interest or basta alam na, things as such. And I know maybe you guys are familiar with these investment schemes but I ain't dropping name here yo but um if you guys really loves talaga na mag drop tayo ng name then you can comment that in the comment section below para magawa natin ng bagong video I guess magkaka hater na tayo haters na tayo so ayun nga guys we must be careful kung saan natin i-invest yung pera na inipon natin na pinaghirapan natin so gab ano nga ba ang safest na investment na pwede namin investan tan 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 kidding aside well, registered banks are the safest. Pero di ba sabi mo na maliliit lang yung interest rates nila? Well, yes. So small na enough lang to combat inflation rate. Yung ibang bank ko nga ay nag-offer ng interest rate na hindi enough to combat the inflation rate natin. Pero always nating tandaan na high risk leads to high return and low risk means low return din. Siyempre, yung banko ay isang low risk na investment. So, we must expect a low return of our investment. Yeah. Ox na ba? <laughs> okay. Let's proceed to number five. Five. Ensure a future income. So, this is basically for the long run na. Like, um, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years down the line. I mean, kapag mag-retire ka na, enough na ba yung pension na marireceive mo for you to enjoy life? Or like, kulang pa yun para magbayad ng mga renta mo? Parang ganun. I mean, some people, a lot of people rather, um, nag-retire or like, kapag nawala ng trabaho, eh, wala. Hindi nila na enjoy masyado yung retirement nila since like, wala silang ibang pagkakakitaan or wala silang ibang source of income aside from that work na niretire nila. Well, it's a sad thing but um, it's a reality especially here in our country. Maraming taong ganyan. But anyway, 
Let's proceed to the last one. Number six, increase your ways of earning. I myself is a victim of this one. Like, iilang ways lang yung alam ko on how to earn money. Earn money like allowance and personal tutor lang. So since nasa bahay ako ngayon, almost wala talaga akong allowance eh. Mom, if you're watching this, bakit naman? <laughs> Share ko lang na I have an acquaintance na ang rami talaga niyang source of income. Like, when I say dami, ang dami talaga. Like, he has alawan. No, I don't know ano yung pronouns niya. Okay, magtatagalog na lang ako. So, meron siyang allowance. Tapos, may dalawa siyang scholarships. Yata, or tatlo na scholarships. Tapos, may sideline siya na online job. Then, nag-ghostwrite din siya ng thesis ng ibang student from other universities. And napakarami niyang competitions, you know, na sinasalihan na always siyang nananalo. And to think na kaedad lang natin siya, you know, nasa uh, early 20s rin. And ganun na karami yung mga hassles niya sa buhay. So, wala. Hands down talaga ako sa kanya. Though I don't know how he, I mean, though I don't know kung paano niya minamanage yung income niya. I'm so sorry guys, I keep on switching from Tagalog to English and English to Tagalog kasi nga hindi ko alam kung ano yung pronouns niya. But anyway, yun yung six takeaways ko from George Classon's Richest Man in Babylon na book. But before I end this video, I would love to leave a quote for you guys. Um, this quote is from the book itself. And gustong gusto ko talaga siya. And it goes like, You cannot arrive at the fullest measure of success until you crush the spirit of procrastination within you. Great quote, isn't it? This quote is very powerful. You know, I mean, personally for me, this quote is very powerful. Like, yes, it's true, the universe will give the desires of your heart, but not until you do your part. So I guess yun lang muna for now. If you enjoy or learn something from this video, then feel free to hit that like button and share this to your friends. By doing that, kasi you're helping me in my YouTube algorithm so that my videos can reach more viewers para mas marami tayong ma-educate, mas marami tayong tao na ma-open yung mind nila about sa financial and sa personal aspect ng buhay, you know. And also, meron na ako referral codes sa description down below, especially for PDAX, Shopbox, Paymaya, Union Bank, and Gcash. Sana gamitin nyo yun kasi like it's a win-win thing din naman. Meron kayong free and meron din ako free. And if you guys want to know more about me, then feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I make updates there almost every day. Thank you so much guys for watching and sana sabay-bay nyo pa ako sa future journey ng buhay ko. Bye. God bless everyone. Everybody, let's go. Wait, why did the thumbnail? Brum, 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 brum. Anyway, yun nga, I'm going to talk about my six takeaways. Okay. Dato ko ba'y pa-centralize yung aircon ko yung Tibok Pilipinas ba'y? Pero if you want a more technical and more fo- Birds chirping, birds chirping. So, Gab, saan nga ba namin talaga? So, Gab, saan nga ba ang best na pwede? So, Gab, saan nga ba ang safest? Thank you so much guys for watching and sana subaybayan nyo pa ako sa future journey. Nope, 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 nope. Dapat atras na na. Kainaan na to si Kanok. Okay, I'm done shooting.